Good day, worshippers. This is NA2 right here, finally filming some gameplay videos and rather just updates. I should really do more gameplay videos, but finally I was just could get good, which apparently this is probably the first battle I'll, I've gotten good. I'm just playing the Arpeggio Taco, that tier 8 heavy cruiser that's based off the Taco class heavy cruiser. <coughs> Sorry about that. The Taco class heavy cruiser. And, well, after I got from the, no, the Arpeggio missions, then I did obtain it. I decided to take it for a spin, but I lost the original footage for it. Well, I do have the executable to run it, to run the replay file, but sadly, it's a few versions old. So here's another battle of me playing the Arpeggio Taco, which I do pretty well on. But, uh, man, the Taco is an amazing ship. My friend told me that if you pl get the Arpeggio Taco, you will not need to grind up the uh, Japanese heavy, Japanese cruiser line. It won't be as worth it since you already have unlocked the Arpeggio Taco, pretty much the pinnacle of the um, Japanese heavy cruisers. Which, I actually have to agree with them besides the fact that there is the lower detection radius, which I may lower radi later on with the commander skill if I can get to it. But more importantly, here I'm entering a battle and decided to start claiming on C. And there were many Arpeggio Takaos, I believe, this battle. And also, I'm missing the combat data for this. Just some mysterious incident, but... And here I decided to launch a fighter plane, which among the carries that are on top support for anti-air. Which may or may not do, it's useful. Because I can't remember this battle, this actually was reported a little time ago. But those 10 kilometer torpedoes do work nicely. I just keep spamming them if they reload fast enough. Actually, no, they reload every two minutes, so I'm going to spam them. The Akatsuki is a great spam, and here I decided to make a first assault on the Arpeggio Takao. Oh, wow, that was a good hand of Han. I about to approach C, and decided to switch my targets onto the Yubari. Wait, no, Yugamo. I was thinking. I'm at tier 8, there's no way to be a Yubari here. The enemy has already launched its first round of torpedoes, which I decide to dastardly avoid thanks to my turning. As well, I don't know how, how do I detect it so far away. It's weird. But, and the cap for C is on. Apparently, the enemy has not. Enemy destroyer has not caught on to and into entering C yet. Here I'm aiming at the battleship, and thanks to the Arpeggio Taco's ability, apparently you can really good at setting fires, so using the high explosive rounds and setting consistent fires is probably the best way to get the arson arsonist flag. <coughs> just uh, so, pretty much so I like the beauty of the Arpeggio Taco, it's the best way to set tons of fires and also those torpedoes which are coming handy for being on the side and I've almost captured C which is nicely. Do that that dastardly hit, I just am unable to capture C, but here's an ally to speed things up. I'm gonna send my regards by hopefully trying to hard that oh. I'm sure he must be able to see me. This is not fun. I decided to use the repair immediately to put the flames down and prevent any more loss of damage of HP. And I decided to take the more high ground and go into that smoke screen and try to find that uh, enemy destroyer. Looks like. Seriously! In the middle of capping, it's sorta of rude. Still. And. Cap is complete. Now, on to try to figure out how to get that enemy destroyer. It's on the other side of an island, so torpedoes won't work, and the arching on the heavy cruiser won't be enough to aim over it. So I try to approach the target, the the, the. But with my uh, sonar running, I should be able to detect for any torpedoes that happen to be approaching. I have been detected, so I can get close up and set any fires. And the hydro, the radar has blown out. Sonar has stopped, and since I can't find a store, I might as well send my regards to the battleship that. Was firing at me earlier. Looks like I've successfully determined that there are torpedoes there, and I've greatly avoided that. But a barrage of heavy armor piercing shells are on me. Oh, 
It's I hear a voice there. It's something else. Damn, I got people who are prepared for this stuff. Well, they run torpedoes. Oh, that's the torpedoes over there. There's the Yugama side too. Uh, it go away, but now the Saipan plus the aircraft carrier is in range, and now it would be a brilliant time to set fires on it and eliminate their. Okay then. This is not really time to run away. At least hold out until I can get my repair underway. Worst time to turn away, but nothing else I can do. I did set a fire. That carrier is going to be smart enough to at least repair a bit. Causing any trouble. And those torpedoes are useless now, due to the fact that they were out of range heavily. Just barely out of range. They get a kill. Dare thou. So my detection rate is still very high. I can still risk being hit by any rogue shots. Yeah, but it's um, so I turn around too. Well, I'm way out of range of the carrier. But it looks like that battleship is almost at death or dead. I think this is the best time to start laying waste to more fires and doing as much damage as possible. Ooh. They're successfully going out of range of everyone, but at least I can at least minimize. Oh. I think that was fire. Death by fire, even. I don't know. Death by shot. Uh, I really wish I had my uh, data on the battle, but I have nothing. So next on the list would be the Yugibo class I'm aiming at. Sadly, it's just destroyers are way too high invasive. So I always aim at the cruisers or battleships, if possible. We're still trying to get our cap back on B. Right now, things are pretty balanced besides the fact that they have more ships that are sunk, so this is a fairly well done battle. This word well done. Eh. The North Carolina is easy target right now. Great time to set fires. Lots and lots of. Oh. The carriers must be all out there. It's really not moving, so it makes it an easy target. That's the problem. You have to keep moving or you risk long range shots. And. I got killed right before I got to do anything. I'm gonna get a kill on the destroyer that just took a huge amount of damage, but it died as well. So everyone else is getting kills right now, and I only got one. Well, everyone else. So we're going to see. In fact, someone did get three kills. Only the family. I'm uh, hoping for any long distance shots since at this point, I just want to try to get kills. Or just try to at least get a hit. So just aim and hopefully, even with the base of the destroyer, they will have to predict the random, how random shots can be. Should, right, I should use the repair. Let's, it's like the enemy carries. Oh, I did incapacitation. And I started the repair. So things are looking slightly up for me. I did a substantial amount of damage. And I'm working on trying to get all the way over there where all the enemy ships are. We should start a cap on B just to stay at the midpoint and I can divert to any section from the midpoint. And that would be the last of my repairs. And here I cut right in front of North Carolina. I didn't crash. Things are going well, yes. At least I made the damage, the damage minimum. So the point being that you have to do as much damage as your ship is worth. My ship is worth 40,000, over 40,000 HP, so I at least do 40,000 damage, and I've done just slightly over that. I want to aim for more. I just have to try to get better and better. Now I decided to divert my attention to the three cruisers that are on, on 
our side, and hopefully I can get some hits from there. Since I'll have a better shot rather than chasing after the destroyer or the aircraft carrier, which is all the way on the other side of the map. At this point, my team pretty much are just going to win pretty much by points. So I hope they can get some damage in right before, but I think our Pedro Taka is nice. I set a lot of fires. I guess it's probably set more still. But now the Arpeggio Taka on the enemy side is finally within range. I already released the first round of high explosive rounds. And I undershot that. I should really have aimed at there. The reload time is alright. I should set another fighter. At this point, pretty much our victory has been secured unless they were to do a cap. So my next fighter, hopefully do a little spotting if possible. <laughs> now we are seeing oh dear Neptune. That's the avoid in front round of torpedoes. And in capacitation, I just set its steering rudder shift out. I think this should be fine. I've almost hit the 45,000 damage. Oh, I just had to switch up. High explosives, hopefully, to deal more damage than what a fire could do. And missed. Oh, overshot. Just aimed right over it. Wait, they. I to switch to single shots, and I am doing a. Maybe I should switch to high explosives, but I think at this point I want to do as much damage as possible. I think the high explosives with rounds will do. And that was me switching to torpedoes, which would have been horrible if I aimed in front of my ally. And that last kill apparently got the whole victory. Um, I'm missing any of the, all the any and all of the combat data for that game, but I still do have the stats. So you at least can see that clearly. My uh, did a few amount, good amount of fires, one kill at least, but I would have at least uh, not have damage. I pr got way more damage in a battle before, but I guess I just wasn't good enough this video. But I just wanted to film a Takao video show that I like Takao. But I wish I was a little more involved. I'll probably do another video later on if that one goes better. So thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, like, favorite, rate, subscribe. I'll be trying to do more battles as time go progresses, goes on. So this is NA2 signing out.